uh, I've known uh, Niall Gannon at least 10 years now. Uh, we're colleagues at uh, Morgan Stanley. I've got the good fortune today of leading our private wealth management business, which Niall is, is one of our very best practitioners uh, based out of St. Louis. The first time I saw Niall, there is this thing that came into my heart. What a wonderful soul that God has given the world. He's such a unique individual. I mean, many of our advisors, I mean, we are a relationship-based, talent-driven um, organization. And, you know, when I think of Niall, I, I immediately start thinking about, like, his intellectual uh, properties, an incredibly bright um, person. He's also this uh, lifelong um, learner. He's a voracious uh, reader. Uh, but he's also um, very much about the community. I mean, he spends a significant amount of his time, energy, effort, and capital, frankly, uh, supporting communities both local and at the national level. I have learned that if you uh, stick to the principle of what you're trying to do in that business, whatever it is, and uh, pursue excellence, that you will be successful. Sometimes there are huge um, disincentives to do the right thing in business. And sometimes that means making a little less money means losing out on a deal because you stuck to your principles. I think at the end of the day, you have got to stick to what you know is right. Um, and if you're trying to build something, if you're trying to perfect something, uh, it is worth uh, the effort and the diligence uh, to stay on task. For him, work means service to the people, particularly those who are marginalized. And he's very meticulous in what he does. There is no iota of doubt in what Nile does as a professional. I guess the thing that I look back on mostly from the school is a sense of gratefulness. Um, I didn't get to where I am in business on my own. Um, and. I can trace a lot of those successes and the blessings that have happened in my life. I can trace them back to this campus. Niall is only, not only a brother to me, but a brother to everybody who has got to know about him. He starts with people. He's a people uh, person, an incredibly compassionate individual, but he's also relentless on behalf of his clients, you know, or you know, the organization in which he's advocating for. Uh, he, uh, he leans in pretty aggressively. And so if you want um, uh, a fighter, a champion, or what have you, I think that uh, Nile uh, embodies that. The hospital in Bolo, where Nile actually facilitated the funding to this completion. Now, as we speak today, in a region where children will die, one out of every five births, was known not to survive. Now, for a fact, five out of five children born in that village are known to survive. Being inducted into the Hall of Fame is uh, its humbling. Um, I have a sense of gratefulness um, to all the faculty members who believed in me uh, more than I believed in myself. Um, it's a bit of an invitation for me to take my place now amongst those who have a responsibility to help these kids going forward. I sure got a lot of chances in life and this is a, this is a great honor and I hope I, I hope I do it justice and uh, give chances to other kids.